Now, student, you can be also asked here, what will happen when the topic of ecology is removed in our curriculum? We refer it to know all this. My student, before we go to the concept of ecosystem, it is also good we know the level of organization which we consider. Level of organization is considered in the topic of ecology. The topic of ecology will know organisms, species, will know population, will know community, will know ecosystem, biome, biosphere, and so on. My student, species is a group of organisms capable of interbreeding to produce a fertile offspring. Therefore, this one is a group of organisms. Capable of interbreeding to produce a fertile of four springs. Then my student population is a group of organisms of the same species. of the same species occupying a defined area, a defined area. For example, elephant form a population, maybe population of lion, population of human being, on the organism of the same species. Now after there, let us see community. Community, a group of organisms of different species occupying a defined area while interacting. Therefore here, we include different population. Group of organisms, of different species occupying a defined area and interacting with each other, interacting with each other. That is the community. Now from community, we can have now a term ecosystem. Therefore, let us see the concept of ecosystem. Concept of ecosystem. My student, what is an ecosystem? We always have terrestrial ecosystem. We can have a terrestrial ecosystem. Aquatic ecosystem. What is an ecosystem? An ecosystem, by defining, this is the self. Sustaining and self regulating biological unit consisting of biotic and abiotic components. 
is a self-sustaining and a self-regulating biological unity consisting of biotic and abiotic components. Which interact which interact to ensure the constant flow of energy flow of energy and nutrient secretion. Biotic and abiotic always interact to ensure energy flow and nutrient circulation. My student, plants which is biotic, for example, this is biotic, and the soil which is abiotic. Soil and the plant always interact to ensure nutrient secretion and energy flow. A plant absorbs water from the soil. A plant takes nutrient of nitrogen phosphorus from the soil. A plant absorbs water from the soil. Therefore, water from the soil is absorbed by a plant to ensure nutrient secretion. A, a plant will be eaten by animals. Therefore, they are always in the interaction. My student, let us see the structure of ecosystem. Structure of an ecosystem. An ecosystem has two components. One of the components is called the biotic component. Biotic components. And the other component of ecosystem is called the abiotic components. Abiotic components. What is biotic components? My student, biotic components include the living organism in the ecosystem. Living organisms. Example of biotic component are plants, animals, fungi, and bacteria. These are biotic component of an ecosystem. Plant and animals interact. Fungi and plant interact. Fungi and animals interact also. Now, biotic components are divided into the following categories of biotic components. One are uh, producers. Producers. Producers are autotrophs. Autotrophs. That means producers can make their own food. Such as plants, algae, photosynthetic bacteria. and the chemo synthetic bacteria 
out out of such as the plants algae photosynthetic bacteria and the chemosynthetic bacteria which uh, can manufacture their own food from simple inorganic compounds such as carbon dioxide and water in the presence of light of light energy all chemical energy. These are called the producers. They are capable of manufacturing their own food by using carbon dioxide, water in the presence of light from the sun or energy from chemicals. My student, producers occupy the first trophic level. And the all energy in consumers is obtained from producers. Now, importance of producers, of producers. You can ask yourself, my student, are plants important? One, Producers, they produce food. Produce food used by other organisms. By the other organisms. Such as animals, human beings depend on producers. My student, producers balance the amount of oxygen and the carbon dioxide amount of oxygen and the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere in the atmosphere balances the amount of carbon dioxide and oxygen in the atmosphere Therefore, producers reduces the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere because during photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is reduced. By reducing the amount of carbon dioxide, they reduce the rate of global warming. They reduce the rate of global warming. My student, producers help us to convert sunlight, light energy, into chemical energy. That are some of the importance of producers. I hope you at home you can add more importances of producers. Now student, the second biotic component is consumers consumers. Consumers, these are animals that feed on producers, therefore are heterotroph. They cannot manufacture their own food. Consumers eat already manufactured food substance.
Take an example. Human being. We are consumers. Take an example. Fanja are consumers. Lion are consumers. These are biotic components which depend on other organism to feed on. My student, we have consumers here. Consumers, we have primary consumers. We have secondary consumers. We have tertiary consumers. We have quaternary consumers. Let us see one after another. Primary consumers. This is an organism which feed directly on producers. Therefore, they feed directly on producers. Therefore, they are herbivore. They are herbivore. Take an example, cow, goat, zebra, they consume direct antelope. These are primary consumers. They occupy now the second trophic level. Occupy the second trophic level in the ecosystem. My student. We have secondary consumers. This organism which feeds directly on primary consumers. For example, hyena. Hyena feeds on goat, feeds on cow, they feed directly on the primary consumers. They occupy the said trophic level. Said trophic level in the ecosystem. My students have also tertiary consumers. This feed direct on secondary consumers also feeds on the primary consumers. Feed directly on the secondary consumers. May also feed on the primary consumers. Omnivore are placed here. They occupy now the fossil trophic level. Occupy the fossil trophic level. This one occupy the fossil trophic level. Lastly, we have quaternary consumers, which may feed on tertiary consumers. Quaternary consumers. This may feed on tertiary consumers, secondary consumers, primary consumers, and so on. Example. An eagle. 
بچه هاک می فیل آن تشری کنشومرز My student, what are the importances of consumers? Consumers respire out carbon dioxide which is used by producers during photosynthesis. They respire out carbon dioxide. Required by plant during photosynthesis. Required by plants during photosynthesis. My student, the last biotic component of an ecosystem are decomposers and also detrival. <coughs> This organism which feed on dead organic matter. This one feed on dead organic matter. By decomposing them, they break the dead organic matter. Decomposers now break down the dead organic matter. Take an example mushroom in the ecosystem is a saprophyte feed on dead organic matter. Mushroom. What are the importances of decomposers, my students? of the composers. My student, the composers are very important in the ecosystem as it follows. One, the composers set nutrient free. They set nutrients free from the dead organism Nutrients are set free by decomposers, which they can be absorbed by producers. Therefore, by setting nutrient free, they ensure energy flow and nutrient secretion. By setting nutrient free, they ensure nutrient secretion in the ecosystem. Nutrient circulation in the ecosystem is ensured by decomposers. My student, decomposers, when they break a dead organism, they add humors to the soil. Therefore, they add humors in the soil. They make the soil fertile by adding humus. This is the number two. My student, by breaking the dead organic matter, decomposers act as environmental biocleaner. They are environment biocleaners. By breaking the dead organic matter, they act as environmental biocleaners. Hope we are together, my student. Now, after knowing biotic components, let us see our biotic components. Our biotic components. My student, our biotic components include non living organisms in the ecosystem including nani living organisms in the ecosystem. My student, nani living organisms are 
examples soil temperature rainfall another biotic component here in the ecosystem carbon dioxide sunlight this is a biotic component of the ecosystem you can add more examples in my students question number two the question is an ecosystem consists of biotic and abiotic components using examples differentiate the two components biotic component as well I've said include living organisms abiotic include nani living organisms examples of biotic are animals plants fungi and bacteria examples of abiotic are soil temperature carbon dioxide water and so on biotic components are producers maybe consumers maybe the composers therefore you can now differentiate my student by using comparison table you at home my student let us see now question number three an organism in the ecosystem interact in different ways using three points explain ways in which biotic components of an ecosystem interact our question is on biotic components how biotic components interact from what I've said biotic component are producers consumers and decomposers how do they interact therefore interaction among biotic components of an ecosystem among biotic components of the ecosystem there are four kinds of interaction among biotic components of the ecosystem my student one is symbiosis two is predation three is competition and the last is grazing Let us start with symbiosis. Symbiosis, two or more organisms of different species live together and interact. Therefore, here are two or more organisms of different species. living together and interact for example you can find the human being has a tapeworm inside therefore tapeworm and the human being are two organisms of different species for example a tick and a cow are two organisms of different species now Our topic is ecology. Symbiosis is divided further into the following. One is mutualism. Mutualism, organisms of different species interact and both benefit from the interaction. Two organisms 
of different species living together interact and both organisms benefit both organisms benefit from the interaction both organisms benefit from the interaction my student take an example pollinators and the flowers pollinators and the flowers insect which pollinate flowers they get nectar from flowers but the flowers gain by receiving pollen grain my student take an example lichen lichen is association between fungi and algae fungi provide protection to algae but algae provide food to fungi that is all about mutualism my student also parasitism here is the interaction between organism called the parasite and another organism called the host but here only a parasite benefit from the interaction but the host is harmed from the interaction therefore two organisms two organisms of different species interact but only one organism which is called the parasite benefit the other organism called the host is harmed my student take an example a cow and ticks you are watching darasa online a tick benefit from the cow by sucking the blood where a cow is harmed take an example tapeworm and a human being a tapeworm obtain food from a human being but human being is harmed a tapeworm is a parasite human being is a host last year my student we can have commercialism commercialism here organisms of different species interact one organism benefit while the other organism the other organism is in neither harmed nor benefit Therefore commercialism example here we can take a banana for example living on wellies on wellies a banana can be transported from one area to another by wellies but wellies cannot benefit or get harmed from banana hope we are together my students that is the first interaction among biotic components of an ecosystem the second kind of interaction in my students the second kind of interaction in my student is called predation This is a biological interaction between a predator and a prey.
a predator and he hunted the animal a weak animal play my student a lion is a predator in the ecosystem while a zebra is a play in the ecosystem therefore how lion and the zebra interact a lion will interact by eating zebra that is the second interaction you can give more examples of predator my students you are watching darasa online when the number of predators lies in the ecosystem the number of plays lowers number of play in the ecosystem lowers why because the predators will be consuming more the play take an example my students we have a time here and we have the population density here population density means the number of organisms per unit area when the number of play lies and put it like this let's say this is a predator my student when the number of predator lies the number of play is lowered but when the number of predator is lowered the number of play increase when the number of predator is high the number of play decrease when the number of play is low the number of predator increase that's it is like a wave let's say this is a play when a predator lies play lowered when the pre the predator is low the number of play is high therefore these are predators disappear therefore when the predator increases in number the number of plays decreases that is the interaction between the play and the predator my students another interaction is called the competition competition is a struggle between organisms of different or the same species for the limited natural resources the struggle the struggle between organism of the same or different species for the limited natural resources limited natural resources are such as food shelter emet etc organism in the ecosystem keep on struggling for the limited natural resources from the definition here student organism of the same or different species from the definition we get two types of competition one here student is called intraspecific competition and the second is called interspecific competition mm -hmm. 
my student, intraspecific competition is a struggle between organisms of the same species for the limited natural resources. Intraspecific competition is a struggle among organisms of the same species for the limited environmental resources. Struggle among organisms of the same species for the limited natural resources. My student, take an example, organism like goats of the same species struggle for the same shrub. Struggle for the same shrubs. You find the only gods are struggling for the same shrub. That is intra specific competition. Another is inter specific competition where now here is a struggle between organisms of different species for the limited environmental resources. Organisms are now here struggle for the limited environmental resources. Take an example. Zebra and the goats are competing for the same shrubs. Zebra and the goats compete for the same shrubs. Compete for the same shrub. That is interspecific competition. You see now how organisms interact in the ecosystem. My student, the last kind of interaction is called grazing. In grazing, a cow interacts here with the grasses, let's say, by feeding on the grasses. Therefore, how Organism interact with the producers, that is grazing, to ensure nutrient circulation. Therefore, some organism feeds directly on the grasses, on producers, especially herbivore. Therefore, here we talk about the interaction between herbivore and the primary producers primary producers. Hope we are together, my students. Now, we can switch on question number four, which you can do it. Why are the following biotic components important in the ecosystem? A, producers. B, consumers. C, decomposers. If I fold it properly my presentation here, you know the importance of producers. One is to balance the amount of oxygen and the carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Therefore, they reduce the amount of carbon dioxide, hence decelerate the rate of global warming. Number two, they produce the food required by other organisms. Number three, they help in converting light energy to chemical energy. If we go to part B, the importance of consumers in the ecosystem. Consumers gives out carbon dioxide required by producers for photosynthesis. Consumers ensure the nutrient circulation and energy flow. Examples of consumers, you know, example lion. Lion is important in the ecosystem. Then, but C, decomposers ensure nutrient circulation and energy flow in the ecosystem. 
decomposers they break down dead organic matter therefore they set the nutrient free for example nitrogen phosphorus are set free in dead organism which can be consumed by producers then producers can be consumed by consumers number two decomposers are the humus in the soil Therefore, they make the soil fertile by adding humus. Number three, decomposers are environmental biocleaners. By breaking down the dead organic matter, they clean the environment. Question number five is, briefly explain the effect of removing each of the following biotic components from the ecosystem. A, producers. B, decomposers. When producers such as the plants are removed in the ecosystem, the following will happen. One, the rate of global warming will increase. Why? Because producers are carbon sink. They take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Therefore, it will accelerate the rate of global warming once the producers are removed. Two, nutrient circulation will not because producers are, are, can, are consumed by the consumers. Producers are fed by consumers. Therefore, once I remove the consumers, we remove the food to eat. Therefore, energy flow and the nutrient circulation will not occur. And also, sunlight energy will not be converted to chemical energy because there are producers which trap the sunlight and convert them to chemical energy. My student. When the decomposers are removed from the ecosystem, the following may happen. One, nutrient circulation and energy flow will not occur because the plants will miss food to get. The decomposers, they set free nutrient. Therefore, the nutrient won't be set free when the decomposers are removed from the ecosystem. And also, addition of humus to the soil will not occur. Therefore, the soil will be infertile. And also, the composers, since they act as environmental biocleaner, therefore the environment will refer to be cleaned by the composers. Hope you have understood. You have enjoyed the lesson. Meet you in the next lesson. Kaka J. Mabinda Records. Kaka Simania, Kurana Kuto Kumeza. Kaka Simania, Kurana Kuto Kumeza.